The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, Part 6, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. First Voice But tell me, tell me, speak again, thy soft response renewing. What makes that ship drive on so fast? What is the ocean doing? Second Voice Still as a slave before his lord, the ocean hath no blast, his great bright eye most silently up to the moon is cast. If he may know which way to go, for she guides him smooth or grim, see, brother, see, how graciously she looketh down on him. First Voice But why drives on that ship so fast, without wave or wind? Second voice. The air is cut away before, and closes from behind. Fly, brother, fly, more high, more high, or we shall be belated, for slow and slow that ship will go, when the mariner's trance is abated. I woke, and we were sailing on, as in a gentle weather. T'was night, calm night. The moon was high, the dead men stood together. All stood together on the deck, for a charnel dungeon fitter. All fixed on me their stony eyes, that in the moon did glitter. The pang, the curse, with which they died, had never passed away. I could not draw my eyes from theirs, nor turn them up to pray. And now this spell was snapped. Once more I viewed the ocean green. I looked far north, yet little saw of what had else been seen, like one who on a lonesome road doth walk in fear and dread. And having once turned, round walks on, and turns no more his head, because he knows a frightful fiend doth close behind him tread. But soon there breathed a wind on me, nor sound nor motion made. Its path was not upon the sea, in ripple or in shade. It raised my hair, it fanned my cheek, like a meadow gale of spring. It mingled strangely with my fears, yet it felt like a welcoming. Swiftly, swiftly flew the ship. Yet she sailed softly too. Sweetly, sweetly blew the breeze. On me alone it blew. O oh, dream of joy, is this indeed the lighthouse top I see? Is this the hill? Is this the kirk? Is this my own country? We drifted o'er the harbour bar, and I with sobs did pray, O oh, let me be awake, my God, or let me sleep alway. The harbour bay was clear as glass, so smoothly it was strewn, and on the bay the moonlit light lay, and the shadow over the moon. The rock shone bright, the kirk no less, that stands above the rock. The moonlight steeped in silentness, the steady weathercock. And the bay was white, with silent light, still rising from the same, for many shapes that shadows were, in crimson colours came. A little distance from the prow, those crimson shadows were. I turned my eyes upon the deck. O oh Christ, what saw I there? Each course lay flat, lifeless and flat, and by the holy rood, a man all light, a seraph man, on every course there stood. This seraph band, each waved his hand, it was a heavenly sight. They stood as signals to the land, each one a lovely light. This seraph band, each waved his hand, no voice did they impart, no voice, but oh, the silence sank, like music, on my heart. But soon I heard the dash of oars, 
I heard the pilot's cheer. My head was turned perforce away, and I saw a boat appear. The pilot and the pilot's boy, I heard them coming fast. Dear Lord in heaven, it was a joy. The dead man could not blast. I saw a third. I heard his voice. It is the hermit good. He singeth loud his godly hymns that he makes in the wood. He'll shrive my soul. He'll wash away the albatross's blood.